Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Carver Conservation Commission public meeting of uh, Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, our first order of business tonight under discussions in business is a modern, modern, minor modification for cobblestone on Meadow Street. Huh. Well, I thought somebody was going to be here. Um, that's the, uh, the solar project? Possibly, yeah. The co on yeah. cobblestone. Right, cobblestone so lane is... is what uh, they need to do is they need to widen the access road and so it's a little more in the in the riverfront. The reason they have to widen the access road is because of the fire department. It was a fire department request. Hmm. So it's it's like minor. I can, I, I, I thought they, was there are two houses back I there. So. Didn't be fire uh, specs with that? Huh? There are two houses back there at the end of the conference. Yeah, but I think it's 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 the roadway going in. Like yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let give me these. But the mm. reason the only reason that they have to do it is because, like I say, it's the fire department. Mm -hmm. requirement and it's it's puts it a little bit more into the riverfront and that's why so it's really not a lot it's not a major there's, there's one for everybody. oh this is uh, yeah, the, meadow. yeah yep the it's a cobblestone it's the uh, project Okay, let's see. It just says, uh, do you want to read this? Read his cover letter. And then it might be easier to understand the plant. Yeah, they're talking about a fire truck access. Right. <clears throat> so that's really the only thing that, that you know, the changes is the width of the road. So this is the new plan? Yeah. That's not what this says, though. This says it was issued July 9th. So, am I missing something? Uh, this, this drawing was July 9th. There, the other drawings have different dates. 5.5. Yeah, I'm seeing that. This is 319 local approvals. One's May 25th. My question is, is we're using a plan that's six months old. Why is it now coming for a modification? Where was it before? It's the modification, I guess, is the need for the uh, fire department and the... Uh, oh, I understand that. But why isn't the plan updated to reflect that date? I assume we have one of these that's already signed. This, let's see, we have the original plan yeah, that was signed. Yeah, can I see that? But that's the one with the change on it. I appreciate right. that, but okay. I'm willing to bet it's the same exact plan as far as the dates yeah. go. No, the plan we signed was, um, latest issue was April 8th. This is May 24th, so this will supersede. <coughs> Okay. Yeah. So we'll sign one of these again if this is how this goes tonight. And this will become attached to that as a yeah. as the modification. Yeah. There's a, a yellow house at the uh, uh, front end of the road there. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I, I think we should order that to be repainted. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see what they're asking for. I don't see a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought particularly because it was a request for the fire. Request for fire. Yeah, yeah fire truck uh, access right. for the modification. So. Okay. 
it doesn't really impact anything, you know, any of your your decision. It didn't I don't think I didn't no. think it required an amended order. Can I see that cover letter? Yes. Any other discussion? No, I mean, I uh, I don't see any problem with it. Again, I question why the plan was done on July 9th, and here we are. Yeah. And well, I know they Six were working on later. it. Yeah, they were working on it, and then they just, I don't know, they never got it to us. And then it never this got is on December it. 6th. Never got it on the agenda. So. Uh, I had a quick question. I, just looking at it real quick. Uh, what page? Sorry, um, any of the pages, uh, just uh, was looking, there's a delineation line, 200 feet, uh, 200 foot setback. Um, but I'm just trying to see where where this array falls under our jurisdiction. <coughs> the array didn't, the, um, okay. the work around it did. Well, it's a bog, first of all. Well, yeah. Right, they, they're widening an area in the bog for the turnaround. Right. Just that existed, right. okay. Yeah, but the original, the original is that because it's in a bog. And this was an upland bog. Yeah. If you remember right. Yeah, yeah but it's yep. also along the, the Wee Wee right. Anik, right? Right, yeah. right. yep. In, it was some of it was in the riverfront, yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the minor modification for <coughs> Cobblestone Meadow Street DEP SE 126-620 as printed on the plan dated latest issue May 24th, 2021. I think that we should sign. I, uh, do we have a second? Second. second. All right. And we'll sign a copy of this. We'll sign what? Sign I the think we'd sign page uh, two of five, the one that's got the change in the plan that show that's dated seven nine. I was going to sign the whole thing, but okay. You want to do that? Right. I think we should sign this one because this is the one that's really changed. Okay. And I want to keep this attached yeah. with the uh, yeah. with it also. Yeah. All right, it's been moved and seconded to approve the minor modification for Cobblestone Meadow Street DEP SC 126-620. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Yeah, she make a note that we're signing page C2.0. You. You, yours, mine? Yours, it's fine. Okay. All right, uh, next up, um, is it, um, I wish we had done this last time, but it happened so quickly when, mm -hmm. when Peg resigned that we didn't, you know, she sent a letter saying that yeah, she Yeah, she didn't was, come back. Hmm? She never came back. Right. She, she didn't know. <laughs> yeah, she sent a letter saying that she was going yeah. to leave and, and <laughs> was, <left>. was gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> she was gone. Um, I just want to acknowledge not only her service to this commission, but her, also her service to other committees in town. Yeah. Right. She was the chairwoman of the Historic District Commission. Yep. She also was a longtime town employee. And a library trustee. And a library yeah. trustee. Uh, so um, I don't know if she's watching this at all. I, you know, I but know. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that, that people knew how much we appreciated yes. everything that she I'll did for this town and also for this, uh, for this commission, not only as a member, but as mm -hmm. the administrative assistant yeah. to Brooke and, and Sarah previously. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, she, let, I'll let her know. Right, she's, uh, she's done a lot <coughs> for this town and I just wanted to acknowledge that. Uh, so, okay, next. Uh, discussion of a fence at 44 Lakeview Street. I'm gonna sign that and send it that way. Oh, okay, um, I'll do that in a minute. Um, as you know, the uh, property adjacent to the conservation land that we purchased at 44 Lakeview Street a house is going up on it it's rather large <coughs> um, and um, the uh, the property line is is uh, is marked well um, I would like to um, I would like to have a discussion a short discussion about putting in a uh, post and beam fence along that property line and uh, I did speak to Mr. Badger about it possibly being a scout project. How about a split rail? Well, yeah. split rail. Yeah, that would be kind of nice. Split rail, yeah. Um, so um, I think we just need to discuss it and say, see if we want to go ahead with that and, and ask Dan to... Uh, I think we should ask the new butter if he wants to donate one. Mm. He, mm. Might, he might want it too. 
Well, we, we actually we should ask him what his plans are because he mm. may very well be thinking about putting a fence up. He might be putting so a big white should, vinyl fence. Yeah, he, yeah, you never know. He may want to put a fence. It's a beautiful house. I know. It's going there. And he mm. may want to put a stockade fence there. Mm. Especially if he thinks people are going to be, you know, using the property yeah. to walk on so and stuff. So we should inquire might. to that before we go and mm. spend money on a fence. Nothing looks worse than two fences side by side. Mm, especially with one yeah, white, yeah, white stockade <laughs> fence white vinyl, pond, white vinyl and, and split rip. I, would, I was thinking maybe being a little uh, proactive and getting ours up first. <laughs> um, but he can't put a stockade fence up because it's close to the water. He's got to leave uh, critter crawl space underneath it. Hmm. Only within the 100 feet. Yeah, but still. I guess we can ask him. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. I still, I still have his, I can't remember, I'll have to look up, look up his contact stuff, I still have it. Okay. All right. Um, and at the, uh, just while we have 44 Lakeview Street, at the end of our meeting, we'll come back. We have an invoice from, uh, from uh, Dan on the um, trees. And the, uh, the amount room. approved Actually, is that we, amount? We don't, the amount approved was for the amount of the invoice yep. in the previous motion. All you have to do is sign off on it. Yeah, look back on the minutes. It doesn't minute. require okay. another vote. So it's the exact amount. All right. Because that was the motion. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, day and a half, right? Okay, yeah. it's fine. Um, I, sh I should say, just for people that might want to drive by and, and see the work done, there are some um, um, trunks and tree trunks and some bigger limbs stacked right now, but that wood is actually going to be repurposed for um, um, a for firewood. There, there are some designated uh, families on a list uh, that are veteran families where that, that firewood is going to be uh, it's going to be processed and split, and we have a couple, couple crews coming in to do that. They just haven't gotten there yet. So, but everything else has been chipped and raked, and so it won't be left looking like a hamster nest or anything like that. So. Good. Okay. Good. Yep. Th and thank you. And the house is all winterized. It is. It's all taken care of. Yes. I still haven't seen the inside of the house. Okay. All right. So that takes care of that. Um, Next up is a discussion of uh, variants. Let's put that off, if you don't mind, Mr. Chen, until we get, let's just save that for the end. Okay. If you would. All right. Yeah. Um, 17 Wareham Street. Mm. Yeah. Violations. Do you have a letter? I did drive by today when we got done. Yeah. There was a little machine. Okay. Oh, it's been there for weeks. In the picture. Um, I did, well, nobody was there. Nobody was doing anything, but, and there's a bunch of logs piled there. No, yeah, no, it's been there for weeks. Right. So there needs to be a decision made with this board on, on what we're going to do with this property. Either we're going to have the building inspector go down there, the new current building commissioner that's now permanent full time, and make a determination. We've already said what we want him to do there. He's winning the 200 foot of the riverfront, and there's, now he's bringing trucks onto that bog and an excavator onto that bog. Mm. So, and, 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 the individual filing the complaint is, is never going to stop filing the complaints until something is determined with what we're going to do, what you're going to do with that property. Whether we're going to give him a variance and let him continue business or he's going to be allowed to do it by the building commission uh, or what. We, this is like a bad dream that keeps on coming back. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This, this one picture, I'm not sure what they're doing. I mean, apparently, supposedly, and when we talked to him last, the last time, he brings the logs in, right? He brings the big trees in, and then it leaves them there for a little bit and then takes them out and gives them to somebody else. Right, sells them to somebody. So I'm assuming that's what he's doing with the machine here. Yeah, I don't so think he's processing into firewood. I think no, he's yeah. taking it in and sending it out. Yeah, yeah, he is. But he's doing it on the bog, mm -hmm. which we've been down this road. We know where the 200-foot line is. It's almost up in his driveway. Right. And he still hasn't... Uh, rebuilt the vegetation no. when we in the, on the uh, river line. So, so that's the whole thing. should we? You want to send another stop work order and get him in here? Have him come in and get the building commissioner in here. And <coughs> we could start with yeah, the, the three hundred dollar a day fine until he starts putting the trees in. Well, planting trees. You know, it's it's time it's to start doing something because yeah. this is. It's been a couple of years yeah. since. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. So now we're beyond that we didn't know any better, and you know, I'm sorry. And it's our own firewood. Remember, I think he said, remember yeah. he said it was his own personal. Yeah, originally it was firewood. my firewood to heat my that's, house. That's all that they would use. They had to have three mansions. 
All right, um, <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Um, I think that so have uh, him come in. we can have him come in. Stop work order. I also think that we need I mean, his his fourth paragraph in the letter says, to my knowledge, Bayside Tree Company has never applied for permits or appeared before the planning board. Right. That's and not us. No, that's not. And I we tried to do it before with the prior building petition. Nobody could figure out right. what kind of business he was. Was he landscaping? Or was what what he was? So, so it kind of lift, just did nothing. <laughs> so we can issue the stop work order. Tomorrow you can let the building commissioner know what we did tonight with this. He can send out whatever he needs to send yeah. out. <clears throat> you should let planning know also. I'm willing to bet money that they're not registered with the town clerk as a business anyway. Yeah. So it's just it's time yeah. to get this on board. Everybody yeah. else has to play by the rules or yeah. as best as they can. At some this point he was going to go to zoning, but then I didn't. Yeah, kind of that never happened. Out. I don't know what happened. This is the first time I, I knew that, they had, that he had a name for yeah. his company. Yeah. I didn't know that. So it's you know. treat. So it's a company. Excuse me. Probably my uh, car warranty. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. It's always fun here at the Carver Conservation Commission. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So, uh, stop work order. Contact the building inspector and uh, notify let, the planning. Yeah, board. let planning know. And yeah, well, well, double check okay. with town clerk. So that would have to go to planning to do the business. No, you have to go. He'd have to go to town clerk to file as a business. Then he has to file whatever paperwork they're going to require him oh, to operate a business. I'm not. He may not need planning, I, I, but I he's definitely got to go to building. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't think he'd need planning. Maybe zoning, right? For a business thing. A I, business I in a residential zone. Depends on whether it's a lot or it's, it, he could claim it's agriculture. He's in an RA. Trees, wood. Hmm. Let's well, start off with the building commissioner and see where that goes. Is he is he in an RA? That's a not an active bog anymore. Does he have a farm plan? There's one behind him. No. He would have to have a farm plan for that property to get right, right. agricultural use. Yeah. And he, I, well, I, we he argued doesn't. that the last time with 61A stuff on one of the very first meetings that they came in with. Yeah. And, and she was pulling stuff out of 61A or trying to put something yeah. in. It was just, remember that? It was weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was a whole bunch going on. But just, he doesn't harvest the bonds right. or anything. Yeah, let's no. stop work and go to the building plan. All right. Done. And let him figure out his next move. Yeah. Uh, request for extension Cranberry Point Energy Storage DEP SE 126-579. Yeah, that's the battery storage yep. mm -hmm. thing. On, um, they have to go to uh, the energy facilities siting group, you know, and get okay. the rest of their permits. So our order of conditions you will expire, not expire, but it expires. So they need an extension on our order of conditions. For how long? For Probably another. They are figuring to begin like June 2024. And how long what did, was our first order of conditions? How long was that good for? First order of conditions was 2021. It's good for one year. Oh no! Wait, I'm sorry. No, it meant it's it's longer than it one year. Right to that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. So we'd have to give them an extension for. Wasn't the first uh, order good for three years? Three, three years. Yeah. So we need another three-year extension. I think this was, a, yeah, 2018, I mean they can, 19. They can always get another one if they need to. They well, you knew this was going to get mirrored up in state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just take, it's taken a lot longer. Yeah, this was 20, oh, 2019. Okay, so it was a two-year. Right. Yeah. When when in 2019? What date? The, uh, it was, sorry, uh, February. And when does it expire? So February. it would expire. It would have expired three years from three now. Three years. So February of uh, next next month it expires. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. So if we give it another yeah, extension, yeah, that'll 20, take yeah. them through February of 2025. Right. We right. give them three right. years. Right. Make that motion. Right. DEPSE one two six five seven nine request for extension Cranberry Point Energy Storage. Yeah. Um, for another three years. Yeah. Do we have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to uh, approve a three-year extension for Cranberry Point Energy Storage, the EPSC 126579. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And Hearing none. You can make a note, Ashley, that that's because there's of the state regulations now getting involved in that process, which everything the state does takes. Uh, and last of our discussion is um, uh, updated restoration work at 318 Tremont. Yeah, I spoke to uh, their consultant, and he was going to talk to them, but he's pretty sure they were going to wait on that until they could seed 
in the spring. That is the. Uh, that's the. That's uh, the facility that put the fence around. A. W. Bryant. Bryant, and they paved close to the canal, and they came in front of us, and we were going to have to. And then we're going to remove some of the, the old. Um, yeah. Firefly. They yeah. were going to remove some of the parking area and, yeah. and restore yeah. it, but they did, haven't done it yet. But I think they're waiting because they don't really they can't see it now. As long as this isn't a we haven't done it yet, because we're hoping you guys will forget that we have right. to do it, and then we're no. not going to do it at all. Right. Right. All right. And I. I reminded. Uh, there is a note here to a Butters for lot one, three, and four South mm. Main Street. They had they had sent out. Um, before they filed, they sent out a new Butters notification saying that they were going to be on this meeting and I'm not really sure why. But anyway, they didn't get scheduled for this meeting, so I just wanted to make sure that if there were any Butters for those three lots, that they knew that they weren't on tonight. We didn't know. All right. Oh, it was, yeah, it's on, it's on the agenda. I called this morning. Oh, because it's right on, yeah. You called. You called the yeah. town hall? Yeah. <coughs> Who'd you really? speak with? Called planning department. Whatever the number is that's on here. Uh, three four eight two. So that would have been conservation. Yeah. I I wasn't I was out this morning on the site visit. Uh, but the somebody answered the phone. Yeah. Oh, nobody answered the phone. No. Yeah. First somebody. time nobody answered the phone. The second time someone did. They didn't identify. Someone. And she said it was on tonight. When is it? It's it, on it's for February fifth. No, February, it's February 5th. 2nd. February no, 2nd, Wednesday. February 2nd? Yeah, February I'm sorry about too. that. Yes. I'm sorry about that. I did that purposely. So this only is wrong, too? Yes. Oh. Sure. February 2nd. Yeah, Well, I'm February sorry. 5th is a Saturday, and we don't oh. meet on Saturdays. Well, so. you know, we don't have any calendars downstairs? <laughs> I just looked. February 2nd. Wednesday, February 2nd is <laughs> our... Must the same person I, the phone. I'd be curious who <laughs> told you it was tonight, because they, they, they did the agenda for me, both of them. But anyway. This All is... Right. Um, well... This is beside the church. Those yes. are the it's three lots the now. The three Steve lots across Murphy from the uh, Larches right. and um, and Leiden Cottage. <laughs> yeah, it's three single family houses. Yeah, that's. Yeah, so that's it's uh, four weeks from tonight. Yeah. All right. Sorry, you were given misinformation. Well, look at the fun you had. Yeah. Yeah. Very informative. You can hang around. <laughs> hang around. Hang around. We're going to talk about Yogi Bear's <laughs> campground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Okay. Second. 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 Sorry. You won't yeah. see me the fifth. Second. Just throw that away. Yourself. Throw that okay. gender away. Or she could see you the second if, if the fifth if she runs down your driveway. Well, that's true too. <laughs> that's the day before. To hold the, the minutes off until oh after. Could we? That's the day before the Super Bowl, I think. Oh please. Right. It's nice that they don't have to check all this stuff. All Sorry about that. I yep. I apologize all right. for that. All right, thank you. I like your hat. You know, I typically don't think I have to look at all this stuff. Like, oh, I tell people things. I think that I hope they get done. Well, but yeah, anyway, yeah. I don't know why somebody would have told her that. But wouldn't it have been wonderful if somebody had gone and checked? And you, I know you weren't here, so right. I, I would have known. Mm -hmm. But right. Right. Okay. okay. New hearings. Okay. Twenty Shoestring Road. Notice is hereby given in accordance with the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act MGL Chapter 131 Section 40 and the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw that a public hearing will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, January 5, 2022 in Meeting Room 1 at the Carver Town Hall to hear the Notice of Intent submitted on behalf of Richard D. Benedictus for proposed modifications to an existing campground facility including utilities and the installation of wells within an isolated vegetated wetland within the 65 and 100 foot buffer zone to wetland resource area bordering vegetated wetlands, BVW, and within the 200 foot riverfront area. A variance from the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw, section 9.2.1.3 slash three, for the activities within the 65 foot buffer protected under the bylaw. The project is located at 20 Shoestring Road, Carver, Massachusetts, map 124 and 125, lot 130-R and 3A-R. All interested parties are invited to attend. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. That uh, statement, a variance from the Carver Wetlands Protection does is it required? Is it recommended? Is required. Yeah, that's somehow that's missing. Yeah. The words. Oh, is, what does it say? It doesn't say. Oh. Required. There's no verb oh. in the sentence. Oh. <laughs> nope. No, yeah. It, 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 a variance is required yeah. for the activity. Make sure I get the Thank extension. Yeah. 
What do you want? Sir, what extension? I Did know, you guys I was, sign? I was reading and I said, Where's the extension? Just so that nobody walks off with it. Did you sign that extension? Right, uh, right there. Right Jim, has, there. It, has it been signed yet? Oh, okay. I just don't, I don't want to lose it. Thank you. Big sheet. Oh, there's only three. Huh? What happened to Saber? Who didn't sign? Did Dan sign it? Dan, did you sign that? I only see three signatures. Who's I think I saw. I thought I saw. No, Dan's on it. I don't think Savory signed it. Oh, Savory no. signed it and not reprint it. No, every uh, actually Savory didn't sign it, but I but did. That's yeah, but you see, it's signature, printed name. Oh, I see. <gasps> it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's a DP form. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. Children. Okay. Stand Print your name next to your <laughs> signature. <laughs> okay. We have a blank one of those. Blank. We have a blank extension form. No. No, nah, that's fine. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Color, sir. Oh, look Mr. at all De this Benedictus. Bright Go ahead. Who gets the green shots? Oh, goody. Here we go. For the record, Jim and I did it right. Is that the best part? Wasn't listening. It probably is. Not on the record. Um, if you don't mind, I think in front of the table, because that camera will pick up a better view of it. We've got plans here, so pretty much what happens now is that camera will focus on it. That good there? Yes. He's, yep. Yeah, he's, he's saying okay. okay I'm use yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, as you... As you can see from your plans, this is your front sheet on your plans. It's just the overall site. And obviously we've got, uh, thank you to put my glasses on so I can read them a little. Excuse me. Yeah, on, um, okay, so obviously the yellow is the 200 foot, uh, the variant 200 foot from the Grand Brook. Uh, that's the, that, the, that zone. And then we have the weapons is the green line. The red is the 65 foot um, no cut zone and the action zone. And of course the blue is the weapons themselves. Uh, this is shown on the overall plan, which is really a, a one inch equals one inch e equals uh, 150. Uh, and then we have 50 scales underneath it. But basically, uh, we're before the planning board to do what's noted here as the proposed campground expansion. This is an active area that's been operating for this past year. Um, Northgate Resorts uh, bought this place, or franchised it, back in November of 2020, I guess it was, right? Oh, right. And uh, so we got a, a little area down the bottom here where we're, we're going to add a couple of streets that weren't there before, and we're going to be adding this in the future. Otherwise, all this is, is active, and we call this phase one. Was, this is going to be, we're trying to redo this to open on April 15th, which is the normal uh, date of operations, or April 15th to October 15th. Uh, this will be going on in, as phase two, It'll take about a year to get that all approved. And as it, we did a site walk uh, today with most of the board here, um, this, this area, the whole area is going to be water and sewer. In other words, we're gonna have water and sewer in the street. Uh, and so it's gonna collect everything. We're not gonna have anybody taking their trailers or their RVs down to a dump site. They don't have to do that. There's gonna be connections at every campground. And uh, so that'll be convenient. Uh, the other thing that we're going to be doing, uh, which which is within a little bit of the uh, of the uh, zone here, down here, is a proposed water park. We haven't got the design of that yet, but that's going to be a, kind of an elaborate water park. It's going to have a swimming pool, but it's also going to have the usual things you see in these water parks: the stuff, uh, water spouting out from the ground, and probably slides. We haven't got that from the architect yet, so that'll be in this area. Uh, we took you by there today and, and showed you that. Um, That'll be a separate filing, correct? The water park. The water park will yeah. have a will well ha it'll have the design. It probably will be on on one sheet. You know, we'll probably do that as a separate 
you know, once once we have all the uh, all the architectural design that we need. Um, up here, just to show you on the overall, up here is a blog that Northgate purchased on December 1st at an auction. And that just happens to be the, the only place we can put enough water supply wells to service this whole operation, phase one and two. Um, we, we walked you out there today and you saw that the bog itself had 10, 15, 20 foot trees, so it hasn't been used for many, many years. Uh, I, I think it might have been abandoned around early 2000, I'm not sure. So anyways, that's been purchased. We get, we're asking for uh, you know, approval and other conditions to build kind of a roadway out there. The roadway won't be much higher than the bog elevation the way it is now, maybe a couple of feet. It would be about 20 feet wide and probably 200 feet long. And then the main one line will come out of that and come down through this area here, the proposed area, but it'll come in as, as part of phase one because we need a water supply eventually down here. Um, but for now, until we get this approved, which is going to be we met with, this, with the DEP, it's going to take a, a bit of a process. So the DEP is allowing us to use the two existing wells that are on the site uh, until we get this in, in place. So they're working with us. Oh, I see what and uh, and as, as we talked about, and I'll talk a little more about it later, uh, we might put the, the line coming from the wells. Um, we originally pr proposed to put it up on this northerly point to come around, but as we all saw when we were out there, it's probably better to bring it right through the bog and then replace the, replace the wetlands there. So we, we haven't decided exactly what direction yet, mm -hmm. but we'll send the survey crew out there and see what, what it looks like over the side here, whether we come down straight here or maybe straight across here, the shortest way. Uh, we're replicating, well, I'll, let me go to the next, uh, the next one. No. Okay. Uh, you have a full set, but this is what we're going to do. You have a set that shows uh, details and all that at the end. It's, it's 13 sheets. Okay, so this is, this is basically the area that's active that we want to open up April 15th. And as you saw today, we, run, we have construction going on, but we, we don't have the water lines in. The, what the pipelines or the sewer lines. Uh, generally, the whole site kind of goes in this uh, westerly direction, you know, we'd say maybe southwest. And so it's all going to come down to this area here. And that's where we're talking about the variance situation because, the, because of the, um, you know, running, running along the Cranberry Bog. Uh, this road that's already in place is going to be used for utilities and also to carry uh, a drainage. It might be a drainage swale or it might be a pipe. We haven't totally decided on that yet. But what we want to do is we want to, we're running a drainage system it's in our detail sheets. Uh, down every road there's going to be like a French drain. There's going to be water and a sewer line 10 feet apart, around five feet deep. The drainage for the road is going to be about two feet deep and it's going to be on the low side of the road, whatever, whatever that turns out to be. And, uh, and it'll be a perforated pipe that'll take the water here down to a point here and it's, a, it's the decision is whether we put a pipe there or whether we put uh, a swale. The, the, the situation that'll result uh, in, the, in the decision is whether the swale takes up too much room on a 15-foot roadway. Uh, in other words, we, we are limited because of all the activity above above the roadway. So we might wind up putting a pipe. We're not sure. If, you know, we're still <coughs> we'd rather put a, a swale if it would work because it's less of a problem. But, but that is, so that's uh, going to be decisive later. And it'll take it down to a place here where we'll lower an area here uh, beside the bog. And we'll just move the entrance road which is already paved up here, but we'll just make this more of an entrance road and we'll have a little bit of a basin just, just to take that water coming down here. But don't forget there will, there will be perforated pipe all the way along here. And if we put a, a pipe in here instead of a spill, we'll probably have that perforated too. So, so we'll lose some of the water before we get there. So that's kind of what's going on. Uh, as you saw, we've, we're grading the site. We're taking down, there was all kinds of little holes and big holes. And 
some serious slopes out there <coughs> that were, during bad storm, they were eroding. Uh, this um, drainage system that we're proposing should take care of this, but especially since we lower the whole site, we're keeping as many trees as we can, and, and you saw that physically. And uh, we've probably got about this area done now and moving into here, but we gotta go to the planning board for this area down here, which will be, uh, I think that's the 13th? 11th. The 11th, yeah. The, so it'll be next week, next we'll, week. Be, we'll be going to the planning board. Um, okay, so this is. When are you doing the, um, the existing pool area, when are you proposing to do the 60 by 50 addition? Because that's going to also uh, be within the 100, but that's not going to require the variance because it's out of the 65, but it is still within the 100. Yeah, we wouldn't be doing that work until after next season's done. Uh, mm -hmm. October, November, next season. <coughs> and are you also looking for a, a variance um, for that little bit of the proposed water park that's going to infringe on that 65? Are you going to pull that out just to the 65? Uh, well, let's, let's look at The reason I'm asking is it, it, it looks like there's just a tiny bit of that that's on the 65. So you're right, you're right. would you be inclined to move that out of the 65 or would you be looking for part of the variance for that to leave it the way it's drawn? That little bit there, we would, we would redesign that, yeah. that corner yeah, on. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just bring it down. Yeah. We have enough concrete right. deck up there on the pools. The pool will be in there. We can yeah, yeah. Right. We also have a little bit of room in this direction. These. These were originally proposed to be cabins, but I'm not sure that's going to happen this year. Right. Uh, that's phase two, which is what I was just flipping over to, is going to be mostly uh, these these very modern cabins. They're going to look like uh, they're going to look like log cabins. Yeah. They're going to be one bedroom, right? They're going to have kitchens and a bathroom, uh, and they'll be set in place permanently. These aren't things that come on and off the site. These well, are they're the, not these the skids. No, well, they, they'll have, trailers. yeah, they, they are, they have wheels, but they'll, they'll be, the wheels will be, you know, firmed up on the, on the side. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, it's the kind of thing that, you know, people like my wife would probably go, you know, she, she won't go to a tent, but she might go to a cabin mm -hmm. that's got sure. water and sewer. So that'll have water and sewer. It'll be set up the same way the rest of the units are, so, so that everything is modern and uh, convenient. Um, so that'll be up in this area primarily, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Now it takes a while to even get these units, but so we're looking at that as phase two. Uh, this little area down here, you probably noticed uh, there were a lot of RVs parked in here. Yeah, that's a lot of them yeah. came off the site so that we could construct. Um, but normally there are RVs parked there, and each RV has a has a pipe that they can tie into to go to a. a, a basically a tight tank on the site that's already yep. there. And we're gonna turn that tight tank into a pump chamber so it's gonna pump to the wastewater treatment plant. So that's um, so that's what phase two is gonna look like. And of course we're gonna determine how, how we get the water down here and the water will circumvent the, uh, the site. There'll be eight inch water mains as the main main, and everything else will be six inch down here on the on the active uh, distribution system. Uh, oh, so Dick, would this order of conditions be for both phases, or are you no, coming yes, in well for, with another notice of intent well, for phase well, yes, two? Yes, we, we'd like it to be for both phases, because once this opens on April 15th, we're going to move right into here and start construction. Okay. okay, so yes, we'd like it to be for the whole okay. site as much as we can, yeah. whatever information we don't have that you need. We'll, we'll provide you, yeah. but you know, hopefully under an order of conditions or whatever. But um, but that's the intent. So we keep it so that next year we'll be able to open up phase two on April 15th. You know, but there's a lot of work to be done in that second phase. Um, okay, this one is the first plan. This is uh, sheet six. If you want to look at it on your set there, this is the one that um, we show the leaching field. Now the leaching field is under the scrutiny of the DEP. They've already been out here and we've done test pits. Um, so this is a very permeable soil. It's less than two minutes per inch. And the wastewater treatment plant is this 
what looks like a train down here, and we'd actually call it a treatment train, where there'll be three major tanks, a 20,000, another 20,000, and a 25,000, and then a clarifier, which is basically the circle in the end. Now, this whole area coming up from here, phase one, will have a pump station, uh, which will be down towards that, towards that first building that you come in to see, the ranger station or whatever they want to call it. And that'll pump up to there. Uh, there'll be another pump station coming from the RV area where they park RVs. And then there'll be another pump coming from, from the phase two, um, which we haven't, we haven't totally decided on that one, but uh, we pretty much know where it's going to be. But we haven't decided what the gallon is going to be yet. Uh, but that's imminent. That's coming. So, so we have the treatment system right beside where that big parked area, parking area is for RVs. The leaching field, obviously underground. The leaching field itself. I mean, the leaching, the wastewater treatment plant is underground too. Only a, two or three feet sticks up above the ground, and that'll be rises coming out of the ground. But running along the side of it is a retaining wall that'll basically shield that. Uh, we might be a, a foot or two below that retaining wall height. And uh, so so the, basically the, the leaching field, I mean the leaching field and the wastewater treatment plant are, are vir virtually invisible to the average person coming in and out, you know, unless somebody wants to give them a tour. But this, this leaching area will be eventually grassed and can be used for recreation, you know, just like a field. Um, that's up to the uh, up to the owners how they want to use that. But as I said, the main thing is is getting by the bog down here, and then we have, of course, the uh, the wetlands flagging around Ben's Pond. So we got to stay away from there, and that gives you an idea where we are in that 65 foot. So, as I said, the rest of the plan. I don't have up here, but the rest of the plan shows you the existing conditions, the first few, and then at the end, up to sheet 13, it shows you all the various details. Uh, you'll, you can see on uh, on a certain number, I think it's I think it's sheet eight, nine, and ten, the wastewater treatment plant in detail. Um, this this wastewater treatment plant is a, is a very state of the art. It, it reduces nitrates down below five parts per million. Now usually. You know, a lot of the towns require at least 10 parts per million. We're going to be better than that, just because of the kind of system we're using. Um, so that's kind of the overview and open to questions. And uh, I'll go sit down over here while we're talking about that. And also, Rob Cross is here. He's the project manager and the owner. And uh, we'll see more questions around Michigan. Jerry Speedy is representing the contractor. Right. So, uh, questions? I have none. Yeah. I have none as of yet, no. Okay. Mr. Germain? I think it's a great idea. We walked it the whole site today. Um, the wells you're looking to put in require they're a little bit within the 200-foot riverfront. They're on an abandoned bog. We saw no problem with it. <coughs> um, you're replicating double the area you're disturbing, which is good. On page, on page six, um, I think the only thing we got to deal with there is the 200-foot riverfront setback. The within the 100 requires approvals. There's really nothing going on on the 65 that I can see. There's no, certainly no campsites. No. The very tail end. Yeah, we are providing maybe. some campsites at the very top of the 200 foot line. Yeah, but there's. Yeah, but that's, but it's in the second 100 feet, so that's why. It's in the yeah. 100, but it's not in the 65. Right, exactly. So that looks all right. I think it's a very well thought out plan. I think we all came to agreement today on this portion of the entrance road, which has been there forever. Um, we saw with this existing road, and, and obviously that road can stay, and, and that entire road is within the 65 because the bog is right next to it. Right. Yep. But 
it's a road that's been there and been yeah. in use for years and years and years, so I don't see that being a problem. Um, you're willing to move the water park, what little tiny bit of it is going to be in the 65 out, and then um, that addition to the recreation building, that's not within the 65 either, that's just within the 100. You got a little tiny corner of the, uh, the pump chamber that's at the 65. That's not within. That's just not. That's not within the 65. That's just that within the hundred. Right. I mean, I think they've done everything they can possibly do to make this work. And you mentioned, sorry, you mentioned that the proposed wells will be shifted a bit out of that 200. Um, no. no. Which well? No. The no. four wells. The, the they're putting. We walked <laughs> that today. Yeah. They're putting four wells in. They're 51 feet apart. Yep. And they were going to go out the back way and come around. And then um, and, and I was talking with one of the gentlemen, and we thought it might be more expeditious to come out the front. And then Brooke said, well, you can bury a pipe. It's only temporary. And it's just going to grow back. You know, the wet, it'll grow back over it. Right. So they won't have as much disturbance. They're still going to use the back entrance to come in for their maintenance. Okay. So they're not going to trample over it. That was the that that's where I think you heard the design change. Right. I think how they're going to come out of that well and feed the park. And that road's already there. And that road, yeah, and the road's already there going right. around the back. But they have to cross over a culvert going around the back. Well, or a culvert coming out of the front. So yeah. that's what we looked at it today. I, I there is a road on the east side of that bog, but I heard someone say that that wasn't. It's not their land. It wasn't their land. Well, but this, is, we, but we this tells me that it is their land. Yeah, we have yeah, land they should be. But we're doing. We're using part of that for the replication. Yeah, I understand here. that, but right. I think. Oh, does the road go through the area? That's uh, the I don't think so. To a certain point, and I, well, I, I'm probably the one who said maybe we'll look at that too. Okay. But it, yeah. it probably won't make any difference whether we go this way or, mean, or that way. See, uh, we want to get out of there the shortest route possible. When we were out there standing, no, out there, we were standing right about here, here, and uh, we were all Perfect. talking about the fact that if we if we took this. Uh, well, in our plan, we showed coming out here for the water line, yeah. right. but this is all treed in here. And we said, well, we could come this way and get down there to the, to the right. phase, yeah, I phase two, but there were suggestions from several people, why don't we come just straight across? In other words, there's a number of ways to get out of there without disturbing much soil, but in addition, once it's, since it's in the trench underground, we're going re to yeah. replace that. That's but right. you'll disturb a lot less. Yeah, yeah. The and there's less no replication. You have to put in the less yeah. disturbance to the ground underneath it. So and it's only temporary. And it's only yeah. well, it's and only temporary said, we don't disturbance. Have to, like, yeah, right. as Brooke told us, we don't have to replicate the underground because we're going to restore right. the surface above it. But we but we are providing a 200 percent replication of the right. area that we're disturbing. This will be like a, just a roadway where we'll put the wells on. Uh, I, I expect it only to be a couple of feet higher than the bog itself because it's just a matter of not disturbing the bog. It doesn't have to be a, a regular roadway that you travel on, uh, you know, just for maintenance, that's all. Uh, with regard to replication, you had mentioned that you're going to um, only take, you're not going to take any more trees that, uh, or you're not going to take as many, you're not going to try to take as too many or as few as possible, I think you said. Um, right. It's going to be right on the edge of the, of the existing block. That's now the we're location. Just, we're just making the perimeter, of the perimeter, a little bit wider. That's all. Okay. But but it's six thousand square feet versus we did a D, the, you know, probably three or four thousand yeah, the most that we're doing. Probably next closer week, to three thousand. Well we'll we'll do you have, do you have an idea how much grading is going to be involved with this project overall, phase one, <coughs> phase two? In terms uh, of changing you, elevation and so forth. You mean all this? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of grading because, as you can see, there's, if you can look at the existing, it's, there's a lot of little hills there. Sure. So uh, as, as the, the uh, commission saw, we, we have done a lot of grading on, on phase one already. So, but all the materials staying on site uh, will use it, in fact, one of the things that they talked about that we didn't necessarily file for now, I don't know whether we want to ask for it, was to expand the beach. And we'd have to do some testing on the soil, but as long as it's on-site soil, I think Brooke said that it's all kept, it's already as long as we're bringing in other soil. Okay. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now. But again, I don't know whether we're... That's kind of a discussion right now. Yeah, so we, don't, we, we haven't decided that yet. So we might add 
to that as we go along. But we are looking for basically the entire site so that we can start construction as soon as we finish phase one to get in here. So uh, wherever we're <coughs> impacting, you know, the 65 foot or, or even the 100 foot zone, uh, you know, we'd like to have that as part of the ordering conditions. Anything else? Anyone? <coughs> okay. No, uh, thank I've you. got a few questions. Sure. Um, you don't have plans yet for the water park. No, right. we're waiting for an architect. All right. Uh, are you planning on coming back to us to talk about the water park? Well, I think we kind of have to, but as far as showing you a plan, I'm wondering, can that be done in an order conditions so that we come back as soon as we get that plan? No. Well, I don't think he'd need to unless that water park's going to require a variance. We can approve the water park as drawn if it's going to be out of the 65. Okay. Because then the water have, park isn't drawn. No, but we. No, the area is. It doesn't matter whether it's drawn or not. It has nothing to do with us if it's out of the 100. Let me go back to that. Do you know what I mean? So it's within right. the 100, but it, okay. if they're willing to no, move it out yeah. of the 65. Well, no, it, if it's in the 100, it does have something to do with us because, um, you know, if, it, if it's concrete, it's pervious. If there's concrete around the pools and around the water slides. Um, if there's, uh, you know, I imagine that the water would be chlorinated. I'm not sure. Uh, I think there are. Assuming the water has to be chlorinated, there's yeah. kids playing. Right, but I, I mean that that now becomes, um, you know, where's that where's that spillover going? Yeah. Is, it, is it heading down hill to the water to the lake? So I would like to put in the order of conditions that nothing happen on the water park until they come to us with drawings for a secondary right. approval. Right. Yeah, I, I see what he's saying because I, I hadn't sense. even given a thought to the chlorinated water. If yeah. you're gonna, if that's gonna, if we're gonna keep a gravel surface, now you got the chlorinated water running into the ground, and you're right on top of the 65. Right. So where's that purpose. chlorine going? Right. Yeah. So where's that water right. going? And yeah, yet, that's pretty much. The, you know, well, one unless of my they concerns. use, unless they use UV. If they use UV, you're not going to have chlorine. Yeah, but I don't well, know. Yeah. Still, but that's kind well, of what we don't I'm know, saying. So. I, I think we're agreeing with you. I'm saying put okay. it in the order of conditions so that we come back. Yeah, they have to come back. I have no problem with putting it in so order of conditions. But I, I, right. you know, I, don't, yeah. I don't feel comfortable saying, yes, you can do a water park with all it, right. with all I'm seeing is a, a, a conceptual proposed, proposed location, water right. park yeah. in, sure. in a box. Yeah. Um, my, other, my other question is uh, in particularly in the area that you're doing now, uh, the campsites that you are uh, building, all of, all of your lots here, are there going to be pads for the campers um, or? They're all going to be gravel. No, they should be gravel. Just yeah. gravel. Oh, yeah. All gravel. Oh, they'll okay. have Good. driveways, gravel driveways going up to a gravel yeah. area. Okay, because most not, of the units paved. are, what, 40 to 46 feet deep? No, other, yeah, the lots are 40 wide and <coughs> 60 deep. Okay, good. I was just concerned because you know all of your all of your drainage, uh, you know, with your uh, with your French drain is heading down towards that cranberry bog. So I, if it's if it's not if it's uh, pervious soil, pervious. then I'm not yeah, concerned. Yeah, it's all pervious about. and it's all very okay. very right. permeable. Um, those were my two. Those and are, all those lots would be leveled. So yeah, pretty, I pretty pull into two, a lot, it's two to three percent slope. Two percent, yeah. Slow when we say forty, no, it's not. It's right. be, nobody wants a crooked lot. Right. Right. Maybe almost as if this room maybe right. by sixty feet deep. That's kind of a standard that they use yeah. on all their parks. So instead of having, you know, an RV up against a trailer or something, you know, everybody's going to have their own campsite where right. they'll have their own camp. Right. Camp uh, fire, their own parking area, so it's more orderly, much more orderly than a typical campground. Okay. No, I just I just know that all your drainage is heading down towards right. that bog, yeah. and the swale that you might put in or the pipe. Right. And I just wanted to make sure that there was no area where um, you know, oils and grease would would right. settle on the top and then be uh, on a heavy rain be flowed down towards sure. the. Sure. That's kind so. of what's been happening in the past. Why the reason yeah. we cut down those slopes because it's kind of almost impossible. I mean, you, you, in order to keep it from the roads from erosion, you'd have to, 
you'd have to pave them, and then when you pave them, you created another stormwater problem. Yep. So we'd much rather have it per permeable materials mm, right. and at a, uh, at a relatively gentle slope. Yep, that's so fine. that's kind of the direction we went at. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. Um, any butters? Are there any butters here? Yes. Okay. Go. Uh, have you signed in? Would you mind so signing in? Uh, there's a pad right, right over there. I can move this. Yeah, I'm only going to need you to grab the microphone. Yeah. Get the one over that other desk. You, yeah, you can sit at this oh, desk. Oh, you're on the right over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I had one other question. Um, be, I'm sorry, before you go. Um, when the water park is open, is the water park going to be exclusively for guests? Um, that has not been determined if they're going to operations that determine if they're going to sell day passes. There's been talk about selling day passes into the park for people to come in and use the water park. But okay. I'm not, I'm not sure where they plan on that one yet. Okay. Some, that of, was, our, some that, of our properties we do, some we don't. It's, it's not our, I, I was more curious than anything else. Oh, yeah. I, because you want to go. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to go. <laughs> He wants to wear the yogi suit. Yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the dress code today. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was hanging on the wall. So. All right. Sir, so, you, you are. Yes, I am Cass Gilmore. I am the butter cranberry bog that's on the western south side of the property. Mm. Help me out. The cranberry bog in blue. Okay. Oh, the, 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 two li the little ones down here? Yep, yep. Okay. The, yeah, we share uh, Shoestring Road. Yep, yep. Um, so I do like the fact that they are updating their municipality sewage issue because I know I think before they had like ten tanks and they had to mm. pump them out once a week. It was it seemed like a nightmare. So that's nice that it's being upgraded. Um, currently and in the past, it, the property typically would drain through our bog, so we would we would typically have to try to maintain that throughout the year because um, you know it's a, what it's fifty acres draining or you know bogs are lower so they do like to absorb the water um so i guess my only concern would be just making sure it's not you know as they add in more material or as they update their site it, that drainage is considered or they're keeping a good mind of it because like i said currently it does drain lower bog and it didn't really sound like they had any other plan besides this is where it drains already so we're going to kind of Let's keep well, it draining that way. It seems to me way. that they had said, and, and they're here to answer that question. Yeah. I think they said they're going to be piping this, and it's running down to a double proposed pump chamber, um, 6,000 gallon septic tank, and oh, a. That's, four, the sewage. that's for the is sewer, that though, the right? Sewage, that's not that, for drain water. I thought you said there was drain water going into that also. Yeah, no, no, no. No. No, what it's going to be is, you know, the area that normally floods the way the operation is right now, you know, the. By the Rain guard tower, or the guard. The entrance, yep, guard so shed. On the entrance. Mm -hmm. so what, what we're proposing to do is bring whatever drainage we have. Now, keep in mind we have a perforated pipe, so a lot of it's going to be disappearing should be, before mm. it gets there. Uh, but then we're going to bring the drainage down there. We're just going to lower that area that normally floods, lower that area, create a basin. Okay. Uh, and then the, the roadway will just be to the uh, to the west of that. It's, it's actually already paved. It's mm -hmm. just, now we've got this 40 or 50 foot wide paved area. And we're saying we're going to take some of that and create a very shallow basin. Okay. Now there will, there will still be some overflow mm. in the block, but it should be vastly a little minimal compared to what you've seen S in the past. This, this year we received seven inches in six hours. How do you think oh, yeah, that well, would handle that? That's when we had the, the, the issue that you're talking about. It's flooded that's up. Why the issue of the roads eroding. Up mm, mm -hmm. yeah, because, yeah, with because the hill. Steep slopes, we were getting mm. so now we're, we're leveling out the slopes and we're putting drainage in that has perforated pipe. So, I mean, you can't do much more than that on that slope, mm -hmm. but we think we're going to dissipate a, a lot of the energy going down. Okay. To your block. Like I said, that was really my concern because we are, does the bog does naturally does, does absorb right. any rainwater, so anything that yeah, we can you minimize. Have, yeah, the trench around. Yeah, I mean, you know, we are growing a food commodity, so people yeah, do exactly. eat it. So I, want, you know, I'm concerned about keep, keeping it clean. But yeah. it's like I said, it sounds like you guys are updating a lot of it, which is nice. Um, so that's yeah. good improvement. Yeah, exactly. Yep. You know, that's going to be a, not an issue that's, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the drainage is separate, so. I know. I'll have to, I'll have to start to buy fertilizer now, I guess. <laughs> 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 
that, that was a little bit of my question too when I asked about the yeah. uh, whether there are going to be pads there. But mm -hmm. as uh, Mr. D. Benedictus said, they're leveling it and they're not going to mm -hmm. have more than a two or three yeah, percent exactly. grade. Yeah. So that no. means there's going to be more absorption. Mm -hmm. It's not going to get into the roads and, and become a riverbed. Mm -hmm. Provided the perforated pipe is big enough and provided. So that being said, and I understand the unusual rain in six hours and so forth, and I live right across the street from Meadowville. Okay. So I heard You'd all see about it. the 100-year yeah. storms, yeah. and we had 1,700-year storms inside. But we lived it, so is so, it every, every 10 years, 100 years, you know, yeah, it's yeah, hard exactly. to say. So we seem to be getting a 100-year storm about every 30 more often. days. Yeah. So um, I assume that there would be a plan B if this happens to become a problem in the future. Um, I'm assuming that you would be amicable to try to work something out with the with the abutter to well, well, there's correct this. Potential of widening the basin and moving the road over. Yeah, uh, it would be because there's so much permeability going on that the road itself is going to be. Permeable. I understand. And then we get the perforated pipe, and we have the drainage. That if we see that that's a problem, now this is a whole different grading grading site than it was before. Oh yeah. So we're not going to know until we actually build everything and look at it. I mean, the area, the campsite will be grass, and there'll be additional trees put in there uh, in some of the areas. So I think generally it's going to be kind of uh, one of these experimental things for a little bit, but I think it's going to show dramatic. I, I agree with you. Mm. They took a lot of hill out of there. Yeah, no, yeah, you guys have done a lot of work, yeah. <laughs> certainly. And we, and we can't get away from it. He, we, he knows where we live. So <laughs> 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 All right, does that, that answer your question? Yeah, no, yes, I uh, thank you guys, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So right. we don't have a file number. We don't have a file, don't number, have a file so number, so we, we can continue this. Yeah. We can either close the hearing and then continue it or leave it open and continue it. What's your pleasure? Um, I prefer to leave well, it open. I, uh, we, I, I just gave them all the material about the time I filed, and then I had conversations with, um, with what's her name, Maison? I can't remember. Maison. May soon something. I had several com conversations with her in a, in a one week period, and I thought we were all set. She hasn't called me since, and I thought we were going to get a number, but then Brooke said she didn't get a number. I know we didn't. So I'm going to call tomorrow, and she's working directly for this fellow who I do know over there, Dan Kilmore. I'll call Dan and say, okay, can you, can you give us a number, or if you have something you need? That we haven't given you, you know, tell us what it is. We'll give it to you. When and are you before planning? Next week. So it would work if you continue so it anyway. So it will be two weeks. They can be back here and be done. Right. Yeah. They got planning next week, and I would leave it open. I tend to doubt that planning is going to approve this without well, seventeen they a, continuances. They have a peer reviewer. Uh, he's coming out tomorrow to do a site walk that we did. He's, we're walking him tomorrow at ten o'clock. Um, so they should have this comment. You know, any lines, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's coming over. Really surprised. And um, yeah. he gave me a preliminary list because I did send him the old plan, but I told him I'm going to give him the new plan tomorrow. So we'll go over his list and, and all that. I think I think he'll act pretty quickly, and I think we will have responses to the planning board by, by the hearing next week. Um, okay. So it would be nice if we could move it right around that. Your, your next hearing would be? Two weeks. Two weeks from today. 19. The 19th. The 19th. The 19th. Yeah. 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 And even if the planning board. We don't have a file number and... We need a file number. We can't, we can't do yeah. that. Yeah. And we can't write. You have nothing to sign anyway. You can't get... Right. Yeah. I think that would... Either way it would work. Okay. Okay. To make a motion that we can take. One second. Hold on a second. Um, and do, I have a question. You always have questions. I do. Um, just, I was wondering if you had any idea when you might be getting the plan for the water park. I do not know. Okay. All right. All right. I thought if it was in the next week or so, we could do that. No. <laughs> then. Okay. Maybe. They, I know they're working. They have an architect working. They said that today. Get them drawn. All right. So, okay, that's fine. Say results. Now, all, awfully interested in that. <laughs> he is very. You know what? Bring the yogi suit he when you come in. He wants to go. I'm telling you, he wants to go and play in the water. All right. You will come <laughs> Maybe to. the size of the water slide. I mean, we do have a similar plan <laughs> for other. Parts oh, that won't be good enough. He wants the one that's got his name on it. So. All right. Um, make a motion. We continue. 
the hearing for 20 Shoestring Road, DEP 126, we don't know, um, <laughs> for two weeks from tonight. I second that. All right, it's been moved and seconded to continue the hearing for 20 Shoestring Road till uh, Wednesday night, uh, January 19th, 2022. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. This, this is good. Uh, we want to sign this. The the plan you mean or the, we did. the easel? Oh, you can leave it. Yeah, yeah. Point down. Not yet. We don't have a DEP yeah. number. Okay. This goes back. To I think he's got one. Change but. things. Thank you, Dick. Right. What, okay. Which one is this? That's the one that. Oh no, that's my copy. That's your copy. Yeah. We already. I have. The, I got the signed one. This is your copy. In case yeah. You want. I, I don't want to take this one. I don't like too many copies. I, I've got the signed one though. All right. Uh, the continued hearings. Five Johns Pond Road is continued until January 19th. 287 Tremont Street uh, is a continued hearing, and that is Erickson's. Yes, Erickson's. Actually, I'll take that one here. No, you know, I want to see it. Oh, you want to bring it home? Oh, okay. You can have it back. I'll bring it back. Okay, that's right. I, I'll get puppies. Otherwise, it makes great fire. Hit your wife over the head with it. Well, I want to show the pack. Oh, yeah, good. I'm camp day this summer. An extra full size setup you have one. Only one? Yeah, I got um I got this I have these size. Yeah, that'll work. From now on, I mean, if you want me to bring it. Well, they uh, they change their minds all the time. No, we don't actually. That size <laughs> works fine for us. You didn't like the little teeny weeny ones. Yeah, okay. This size is good. That's fine. We only got to this size tonight because they offered to bring two of these today, and then we decided, well, there's only four of us, so okay, just bring I'm four. Gonna, I'll that back. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> we can look at we it. We got these. Okay. Yeah. Open it up, Jim. <laughs> Give it to Jim. He likes the big ones. Here's yeah. Mrs. Dan's. Good. I can't get used to the Jim have a small? Oh, no, Jim's have. got a big one. He's got the, um, here's the general set. The general's set. Jim's got the one for the big kahuna. Are we going to read it in or shall I stop? You shall start. Uh, oh, it, I don't know. It's a continued, so we okay, don't have thank, to read thank it. Thank you. My name is Tom Pazursky from Merrill Engineers. Uh, I'm the senior project manager on this project. Um, we did have one previous hearing a while ago with the commission. We heard your concerns and we listened to them, and we did make some substantial uh, improvements to the plan. Uh, the project's also been through the town peer review engineer, Fuss and O'Neill, four times. So we've gone through quite a bit of scrutiny to date on this project. Uh, I'm sure it will continue because um, we've got some other stuff to do. But um, we've addressed the town consultant. Uh, the planning board closed things last week. Um, I did relay a message to them that the, I, the message I got from the engineer that covered the last meeting with the con, con for me said ConCom was inclined to have the project approved by planning before you approved. And they did beat it halfway, I guess. The hearing's closed, the decision's being drafted. Um, so here we are tonight. They approved it? They are going to vote on it next week. The draft decision's being put together. So that's exactly where it stands. So it's out of my hands. I can't control what one board of commission does. Um, so the project, you have the wetland resource series delineated on it. Um, We've done a detailed riverfront analysis. Uh, we're basically uh, taking anything out of the 100-foot riverfront area out of the project. Uh, we've got a 2,326 square feet reduction in work in the riverfront area. Um, we don't really have any structures proposed in the 65-foot buffer. Um, we do have some existing ones we're pulling out. We do have a fence that we're putting in, um, so that might be the need for the waiver itself. Um, as far as 
stormwater is concerned, we've made some huge improvements on the stormwater part of it. Um, we've made the facilities substantially larger. The treatment tank consists of sediment traps, bioretention rain gardens. Um, the sediment traps uh, were providing over 267 percent the required volume. As far as the bioretention rain gardens, we look at recharge water quality volume and all, and all those requirements on the DP stormwater. Um, we are 11 and a half to 19 and a half times the requirement. So these are massive um, amounts of stormwater that they're going to they're going to take care of some storing. We have the vegetated filter strips. Uh, some important things about the bioretention rain garden: it does provide uh, important nitrogen, phosphorus, and metal removal, um, and the soils and plants help with the uptake as well. Um, I think you also find that we are in full compliance with DEP stormwater policy and the Town of Carver regulations. We did do the use the Northeast Regional Climate Center rainfalls, which are 50% higher than the uh, NOAA rainfalls on the TP40 charts. And these these system here pretty much it shuts off the water because they're so large coming out for the 100-year storm. And I know one of the members mentioned at the last meeting, how about the 200-year storm? They'll work on the 200-year storm. All right, it's not a requirement, but um, they did, did the peak rate of discharge is substantially, substantially reduced. There's no untreated stormwater. Peak rate's attenuated. There's no water coming out of them. Uh, the recharge I talked about, water quality volume I talked about, TSS removal, the requirement's 80%. We're at 93% at least. Um, land use with potentially higher pollutant loads are absolutely prohibited on this property. And the reason for that is standard number six, because it's a critical area. This, tank, con this site contains a transient non-community water supply, and the entire property is enveloped in a interim wellhead protection area. So therefore, any land uses with potentially higher pollutant loads are prohibited, and you should probably con consider conditioning that. Those land uses would be things like gas service stations, uh, truck terminals, storage of any hazardous materials. The actual um, project, as you are aware, consists of an ice cream only shop, no drive through. There's going to be a retail component out back and tradesman bays. This is not storage, it's tradesman bays. And those tradesman bays can only put any kind of petroleum type products, nothing more than a normal household level, have to be stored inside. We have floor drains in there that lead to a non-hazardous double-walled industri industrial wastewater holding tank. And then we're proposing a new septic system, which is further away from the well that will take the ice cream loads. In the back, we'll retain the existing septic system, and that will receive the smaller loads in, in the back part. Um, we do have a construction period control plan. We have a op long-term operation and maintenance plan. And I'm going to shut up and take any questions you might have at this point. <laughs> I think I've babbled enough. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. So you got three bays that are going to be called tradesmen's bays with floor drains in them and 12 by 14 foot tall doors. We so have. That means that, a, that a, a commercial truck, dump truck, can back right in there and be a repair facility. I know you're going to tell me that's not going to happen, but in the real world, um, I don't see a carpenter and a plumber and a electrician renting those three bays. I see them being used because we got bays going up all over the place here. And with 12 foot by wide by 14 foot tall doors and floor drains, and we're right on top of the uh, of the BVW, we're, we're outside but we're still within. I, I just, when this project first came, my biggest problem were those three bays. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with the rest of the project. You guys have jumped through every hoop. I'm very interested to hear what the abutter wants to say, because mm -hmm. I think he has the similar concerns. Um, this is no surprise to the members of the board. We did the site walk, and I said the same exact thing during the site walk. We were talking about, you know, paving the area and, and, and that whole tree line along in there, and where's the parking going to be, and, you know, it's... This looks greater than this piece of paper, but this is still Erickson's ice cream, and they get slammed in the summertime. 
and now you got three businesses trying to operate out back. I think we're trying to cram way too much into way too small a footprint. But that's I'm not planning. So my argument is hmm. is where's the where's all this drainage going to go? These are, these three bays have MDC traps. Is that what they have in yeah, them? Uh, separators? They no, that that'd be a municipal source system. Okay, they have cat, they have floor drains with trench drain systems inside with cast iron pipes that go to a holding tank that has an it, a monitoring system not only on the, in the tank but between the walls of the tank. So if anything goes off, then it tricks the alarm. It's a smart system to take care of it. And in answer to your question about um, the uh, use of the facilities. We've had a lot of discussions with the planning board over this and the chairman of the planning board is also going to talk to the building inspector on this. Um, this facility cannot, cannot have land use with high pollutant loads and they have to get a business license for every tenant that's going to go in there and that has to go through the building department. So it, it just it just can't happen and, and if it and if it does that is a direct violation not only of the wetlands protection act mm -hmm. it's a direct violation of the drinking water regulations I don't they disagree can, with you. yeah and and I, and I think there are measures that are being put in place and are presently in place with current regulations to make sure this I, I understand that but I there's been massive arguments between the planning board conservation commission the building department over the definition of craftsman trading mm -hmm. over the last four years, mm -hmm. um, it, it and, and nobody really ever got on the same page. It's going to be carpenters, plumbers, and electricians for the record. We've said this at the planning board. We've told this to the building department, technical review board. That's it. There will not be any repair shops. There will not be any site contractors in here, for the record. And that can be put in the order of conditions, and that will not be allowed in perpetuity here. We can have a perpetual condition for that. I so that way, that gives you enforcement action on it. Mm -hmm. Put it in. That clearly gives you enforcement action to shut that place down. And just, uh, just so you know, you know, and what the what the gentleman said earlier was that the southernmost bay is a retail outlet for Ericsson's, for clothing, hats, and it's on the plan as a retail. Correct. And that's er oh, for Ericsson's It's on the stuff. plan as a Craftsman Tradesman building. Well, there's no, a so retail no, down no, at the bottom. No, this is retail. retail. I'm looking this right is retail. The retail? The proposed retail. The one, that's retail closest, right on the one that's closest to Ericsson's. I appreciate that. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the elevation of that with the 12 by 14 so, foot door. On sheet C7.1. I'm oh, sorry, I said optional retail. You're right. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it says optional retail. It doesn't say it has to be. It, it says, says proposed. Proposed, proposed on retail. The, on the, it says this proposed plan. retail on this the civil site proposed. plans. Great. But I'm telling you, it says optional retail. All right. All right. Then tradesman, tradesman. Yes. This says retail. This one says proposed. So when they can't sell enough t shirts, it becomes a tradesman building. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> All right. All these plans look great, and then they get approved, and then three years from now, things didn't quite work out. Well, so we made some minor changes, and I mean, this is we how can, the, we, we get ourselves put, in trouble. We can put into the order conditions exactly what mm. yep. was said. And, and as you said, you wanted that. Well, that's out and, of the... I mean, those buildings are outside the 100 foot. Yep. Yeah, but they have floor drains in them. Right, right. That's, yeah, and it's an interim water protection district. Right. Yeah. And you know what? Where we discharge in here, the commission has teeth in this to the DEP stormwater regulations. It's very clear and concise in there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any other questions? Anyone? Dan? Jim? No. I'd like to see no? Um Mr. Weston wants to say. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I see it. Okay. Um, the only thing that um, that I want to bring up is that the fence, and I understand the reason for the fence, but it can't be chain link all the way to the ground. You have to allow for critters mm -hmm. movement. I think we so allow it as a uh, the three by the four, four by four six. by six four by six, six um, like chicken not chicken wire but four by six. They call them like critter fences, don't they? Critter, critter fences. Fence. Yeah, yeah. Like like that. That. And that's that's the bottom. The bottom two feet of the bottom foot. It leaves a space so that things can crawl. In leave there. a space in the bottom mm -hmm. when they install yeah, it. Yeah, like open space. I think you can use the critter fence, um, which is a four by six rectangle 
Oh, okay. So it's the a wire, wire fence. Yeah. And I think you can do that in, in, in what we, I think we said two foot. Two yeah. foot. And then, on then the, uh, the upper two could be your chain or, link or, to or keep people. Yeah. Okay, two they foot on the bottom. The chain link company probably makes the yeah. same kind of okay. thing. Okay, so they're big. Never heard of that. Okay. Yeah, it's a critter yeah. fence. Yeah, they're like they, bigger openings. You know, you're along a, a riverbank, you've got yeah. otters and raccoons. Bigger that makes sense. And, bigger yeah. openings in the fence. But the four by six keeps the turtles from coming through, so that's fine, but it lets everything else come through and the turtles can turn around and go home. So. Ice cream. That's stupid. Yeah, so that's the, that was the only Turtle thing. Ice cream. That, that was the only thing that uh, that uh, I, we're fine with that. Okay, and that'll be a, a you know in the conditions. Yep. Brook, uh, critter fence. Is there uh, is there any communication uh, in the order conditions? Will will that serve as communication to the to planning for our our concerns with with those bays? Um. I mean, uh, planning board won't read our planning is not going to read it. Planning is not going to care. No, not officially. But, but I would think that would be a condition of theirs. Uh, oh, planning. I, I'm not saying from a conservation standpoint, but they had a lot of discussions over this. So that's why the chairman's going to talk to the building commissioner as well. Mm. Yeah, I just know. I just know this body has a concern about planning considerations and. And zoning considerations, even though it's not within our purview, but as a courtesy, no, it they don't at all in our lap. Right, if, but it does play a role in, in you know, mm -hmm. us understanding the the big picture as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but they probably would put that as a condition, wouldn't they? In there. Oh, that's Probably's being put yeah. in there. I want to make sure that we do. So, right. I'm not going to worry yeah. about whether they do. Or right. No. Uh, all right. Anybody else from the commission? No, right now. All right. Uh, Butters. Yeah, uh, my name's James Weston, Weston Brothers Cranberries. We own the property all the way around the uh, proposed project. And uh, first thing, a four by six fence will not stop any turtles. I can tell you that right now. And if you want turtles walking on that property, you know, they, they could get run over or whatever. But uh, the reason we requested the fence was for trash blowing around and uh, that kind of thing, especially when you're going to have more people in there and more with the bays and everything besides. That was why we requested a fence, not to mention we've had people walking all over the bog, walking out back. If you walked the property, you saw the paths, you saw where we pushed trees across to try to stop it. And that was the reason we agreed on the fence. And uh, secondly, the one thing that hasn't come up again is the uh, water usage permit. Yep. And uh, that's a huge factor because right now the water usage permits for a thousand gallons of water a day in the hundred foot circle goes right to the edge of our bog but not on it and we've been talking with mr mclaughlin at dep and he's told us what the regs are and and he also said he'd call us as soon as he was notified about any uh, buddy requesting anything from them and we haven't heard a word so mm -hmm. i assume they haven't gotten that far yet uh but if uh, the question that I have, I, I've talked with the engineer and he's been quite forthcoming that uh, he said something about they were up to 880 gallons already. Now that's pretty close to a thousand. Now my concern is that one bay that's a store, it, if it's permitted to, or whatever it uses as a store, say the store decides to be changed for say a Dunkin' Donuts without a drive through they're going to use a lot more water than a store would. And it's all, and, and like you said, it read retail. And that's my concern, that if then the water usage would go up. Nobody would really know anything except us if we're the abutter. And then the, and all of a sudden they go and get a, some kind, I'm sure we have to be notified, but if they get a permit for more water usage, now their circle goes out into our, our land and our bog and there could be possible restrictions on uh, taking care of the cranberry bog out back. That was my concerns. Uh, in the, like I said, the fence was to keep the people off the property because we've, we've had it. And when Mary Corpenin was alive, she actually saw it. Yeah, wouldn't a four foot fence out back or a six? It says four. We, we don't four. Um, yeah, we were happy with four. That's fine. Four. I didn't realize it'd be a uh, problem with the the critter problem, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's something that we uh, w that we 
always do. Um, I'd keep that then at, at, at the one foot mark as far as the, the critter pass. All right. At one foot. So, because he's right, I, I, they don't want to have trash all over the bog. Okay. Well, I'm not saying we would, but. No, but yeah, you, the potential is to. That's right. You know, the potential is there. Yeah, that's fine. You know, and then if it becomes a problem, you can always have them privacy fence it and just leave the bottom open for the animals to cross mm, through, too. You know, so. And as far as the, the, the trash is concerned, uh, perhaps when they're, we put, put a condition in there that they do weekly trash police mm. out there, because I think it's necessary, mm. you know, especially mm. in season. I've been out there a couple of times, and I'd agree with Jim, you know, mm -hmm. you to control the trash. And, and let's talk a little bit well, about... Well, it's easy for somebody to finish their ice cream and throw the, the, the napkin out the window. Yeah, well, yeah. You know... Um, Let's face it, that's, that's the real world. We still have a lot of detailed scrutiny to go through the water supply section. That's completely true. Um, we, I put the cards on the table. I've been up front with everybody throughout this whole thing. If we don't get DEP approval, then this project doesn't go forward. Everybody knows that. So uh, as far as uses are concerned, what we did is when I looked at this project, I realized the amount of water withdrawal it needed and the maximum daily withdrawal that they needed. So the only way that I foresaw this was going forward is for us to go to DEP and see if, how they would have determined the flows on this. We had to go for determination of flows. We got sent, bounced around DEP in Lakeville. We went to DEP in Boston and Mary Beth Chubb, the head person in Boston, she approved of daily flow for the ice cream only of 628 gallons per day and we got water meter readings from a few surrounding facilities so she concurred with us there were some unique flows the retail that's two that's strict title five that has to go through the board of health that's 200 gallons per day the two bays is 60 gallons per day that's where the 888 comes from there's no way no how that there's going to have two two uh, Dunkin Donuts or another restaurant in there um, anything but a dairy only in there it just is not going to happen because those are a thousand gallons per day minimum boom they're done they cannot exceed that water withdrawal rate under present conditions period and that will be monitored by the Board of Health and DEP so that change isn't is it's not going to happen um, can't I don't think we have the power to condition that. I think that's the plan. No. Have to I, I did talk, planning. It's talk to Kevin planning about it. He's been so looking at it. Yep, it's yeah. outside of us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And Kevin, I talked to Kevin Ford, and he's been looking at it. Oh, so he's, he's, yeah, he's been plugged in every yeah. step of the way. Yeah. And I've even met with the chairman of the planning board and Kevin just yeah. to put the cards on the table. Yeah, there's a lot of, you guys have been absolutely straight up on this thing. There's no yeah. doubt. I, I don't want to have any farm, especially a cranberry farmer, saying that we caused a problem with his crop. Mm -hmm. If they way. if they're going to lock themselves into that kind of requirement, are you okay with that? Or do you think? That well, if it's if it's if it's uh, if it's legal, it's legal. I mean, I'm just. But the, the question I would have is, how are we going to know what's going on? I mean, is somebody going to call us every time they make a decision on the board of health or the planning board? Probably not, like I suggested in the planning board. I said, who's going to police this? It's not up well, to the neighbors to, to do permits. it. What's that? So yeah. if a Dunkin' Donuts or something like that goes, it, it, let's say that's the worst case scenario. If they try to put even a sub shop, they still got to get a permit from the Board of Health. So the Board of Health has to permit the place to operate a food service business. And mm -hmm. that, and, it, and so wouldn't the building, uh, the building right. commission. And that's going to bring forth the whole water plan to what they can and can't do. Right. So and I don't believe that they can't, you know, they can't sneak in a no. quiet sub shop because then it would have to operate with no health inspections, no serve safe, no, right. none of that, well, and you can't. Well, so I think that would, that, that, I think that in itself, I'd be more afraid of somebody putting in Harry's repair shop if it were Well, we're, yeah, be, uh, there's other neighbors you know, that are concerned about detail, a an auto detail shop where yep. all of a sudden now uh, we're using. Can't you know, have that. There's other neighbors that are concerned about maybe a tire shop and everything like that that have expressed concern to me about it that 
Of course, they're right across the street, so um, yeah, I can see can. where they'd be concerned. I don't think they can do yeah. that. They, if you're going to no. leave, I, I don't think you can classify a craftsman tradesman as a tire repair shop. No, you can't. That's a um, land use item. But I'd be concerned about a stereo installer slash detailer. Yeah. You know, is that, is, and this is where we get all mirrored into that craftsman tradesman mm -hmm. definitions and, and, you know, uh, the guy can go in there and say, I'm going to, do paint protection film on high-end Porsches, mm -hmm. you know, so that, does that make it better than if you're just going to clean pickup trucks? I mean, mm -hmm. we, we get into that craziness. <clears throat> yeah, you're not, you know, you can't, that, those detail shops, that water usage is going to blow through the roof. Yeah, it is. And, yeah. and, and you know, that's where DEP is going to step in, because they're capping it out. It, it's just, there's just too, too many eyes on this thing. For somebody to try to try to go through this. So my wife owns a small business, and every year she has to recertify and go to the town away him and get her stuff recertified. Number one, rather, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, and plus, you're going to be. I'm sure that the family is going to keep an eye on this thing because you're the abutters to it. One of the mm -hmm. things the uh, planning board is going to have is a condition there too, which should, I think, <coughs> help everybody lay the concerns. Is that for those. For that big building out back, trucks can only come in and do their deliveries and load ups and then they leave. There is no outdoor storage on the site, even the ice cream shop, of uh, parking of vehicles overnight, especially trucks. Hmm. <clears throat> One question I did have is, I mean, uh, he said that that woman up in Boston gave a uh, gallonage for the ice cream shop uh well there's only a three bay building what's taking so long i mean what's the big deal it, it is what it is it should be pretty much cut and dried the formula to figure it out i would think it's dp <gasps> it's it's taking well, so long. <laughs> well that's the thing i mentioned it to the planning board you're voting for something that you don't even know if it'll pass because they may not have the water usage well Which that, that's so why you I, my feeling you get the cop before the horse and then all of a sudden, if we find out they don't have the water usage, or if they do, or, I mean... Yeah, but see, for this they don't body, have anything. the water usage is not within not our really. purview. That's planning. So we can, we can approve the project, parts of the project that we need to approve, mm -hmm. and we can put in the order of conditions that we want in the order of conditions. But if DEP doesn't come back and it doesn't conform to the water usage, then planning still can't issue the permit. Right. They don't have anything. They so, don't have anything. So the cliff note, and, and that's a great point, is getting DEP water supply approval. The, the client wanted to try to get all of them done, and each board has its own areas of purview that we have to address and take care of one at a time. So we've got planning that has site plan review and zoning, conservation and your local bylaw, the state regulations, the stormwater protection, we had the water supply, which we needed to try to address, and we got bumped over to the wastewater, and then we ended up in Boston for wastewater because the determination of flows for the well were taken from Title V readings. So then I had to take a look at it and say, okay, that's where the, t that's where the water supply said, no, nope, you go up to Boston first. So I said, before we go to Boston, let's make sure this thing works. And that's when we had to provide the data to show that it worked and then that got issued from DEP, and now we've got to go back to DEP to see if the water supply section will agree with our findings, and if they don't, then the project doesn't go forward. Mm. And then when we're done there, if we get through there, then we have to go to the Board of Health for the septic stuff. And the Board of Health is, can't do anything until DEP water supply acts. Mm. So I think so. you covered as far as the water requirements are, I think there's enough eyes on this um, with enough sign-offs that have to happen that it, 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 that it really can't be fudged. And enough rules. Yeah, yeah it's I, done. I really do. I mean, we didn't get the approval from DEP till November or December. So then we say, okay, now we got to get the water engineer on board to go to the water supply section because yeah. we're civil engineers. Well, we just, if that's what it is, that's what it is. I just don't want any surprises coming. I think this is um, this is pretty well, and I'm glad that that um, they're willing to let us condition these buildings and 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 stuff, even though it's out of the the hundred. Um, yeah. My concern again is the floor drains. Well, right. It does go to the stormwater management system. Yeah. 
Because who Hold needs on. who needs the the, the you know the, the the small contract to bay, and then the guy's out plowing, and he's got snow and ice and salt and all kinds of stuff all over. He's plowing for another town where they're using calcium. And then he comes in, decides to wash his truck off inside the bay, and that's in the drain, and that's, you know, the bog is right out back. And well, if he does that, it goes in the holding tank, but then, the, but like I said, that, that makes no sense because if it's a detail or something like that, mm. the water usage is going to go through the roof. Yeah. And they have, me they have, these lines are all being metered, and those meters, those meter readings and the water quality reports have to be submitted by a certified water operator to DEP oh. and copies to the Board of Health. So there's another two set of eyes on that. Okay. All right, any other questions? Are, are you okay? All right, good. Um, so uh, we're gonna sign that. I guess. Sign I don't that. know that we're going to sign all 30 pages. No, we can sign the cover. Sign the cover. Well, we'll I'd like your to, um, I think I'd like stickers? to sign the cover, and I think I'd like to sign. You want me to do a little sticker things? Yeah, we, yeah, we going? Yeah. What'd you get? These ones. Well, look do you at want those? Yours. How many do you want? I don't know yet. Let's figure out where we're at. I think if you put it on the front page, that then that yeah, covers yeah. the whole well, set. Well, provided we don't. Take the staple out and change the page. I <laughs> wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> if there's a if there's a particular page that you want us to initial, I think we should initial the the, the this um, sheet C three one. Okay. Because that just shows the, yep. the overall plan. That's fine. I have no problem with that. All right. So um, I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. I'll second it. No, I need a motion. Oh, we need a motion. <laughs> Make a motion to close the hearing for 287 Tremont <laughs> Street. DEP 126-626. Okay, I'll second that, Alan. All right. Uh, uh. It's been moved and seconded to close the hearing on uh, 287 Tremont Street. DEP SC 126-626. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. It's approved 4-0. Make a motion. We approve the NOI as printed. This is only for the NOI approval as printed. Oh, I can't even read this. What what, what's the date in the bottom corner there? Um, December 28, 2021. What he said. Um, for DEP. Yeah, that's the latest with 27. Yep. <sighs> Sorry. 287 Tremont Street, NOI, DEP SC 126-626. This is to just approve the NOI okay. for that day. Uh, we have a second. Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded to approve the NOI for DEP SC one uh, two, two six one two six six two six. six, two six. six. All those in favor say aye. 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 Right. Okay. Okay. And uh, we need Maria a variance. A variance approval of variance because there is a little bit of stuff in the sixty five. Yeah. So I need a motion. So I'd like to make a motion. We approve the variance for 287 Tremont Street, DEPSC 126-626, as drawn on page C31 of the sheet of the plan of the same date, um, with the following conditions. That the three commercial spaces, the, the, the tradesman storage bay, one, two, and proposed retail store. Not, uh, how do you want to do this? Not. Not allow or not. Yeah, I, I just, I don't want trucking in there. Well, what did you say to the planning board? It, we can use it, your language. It cannot be, a, and this is under the DEP regulations, your regs, uh, cannot be a land use with potentially higher pollutant load. And um, I can email Brooke, the drinking yeah. water regulation component, and it prescribes right in there. It's service station, gasoline stations, materials that store hazardous waste, uh, Things of, things of that entire nature. It covers it covers everything. If you hit those two regs, 
Mm. All right. So you're, okay. you're done. Okay. It's just the regulations that you know that you would, would okay. the conditions that's that, fine. that it's safe these, has a certain mm, pollutant that, load. Those three fine. bays follow the regulations. You and then the next it. the next component of that would be, and the justification is is due to stormwater standard six because this is in a critical area, an interim wellhead protection area. Oh, okay, right. Okay. And that covers everything. All right. Very good Works for me. Uh, it, uh, need for that verbiage as well. And uh, yeah, for the fence. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that the um, I'm going to put two pot on the fence. That the fence um, allow a one foot critter critter access. She's writing critter access, um, like a four by six or whatever we normally require. Four by six. Uh, I also want to see some postings put out there that define the fact that over the other side of that fence is private property. We're putting no trespassing signs on yeah, the that's, fence. That's on that's okay. part yeah. of the in information here. And that uh, part of the conditions also is that should um, trash become an issue, then I'd like to see the fence with the privacy slats in it to um. alleviate that from happening on the bog. Okay, so something to help the trash. Just so the trash is is yeah. is, is 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 controlled. Controlled. Prevented. Yeah. All right. Uh, plus, uh, any other uh, standard conditions? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Before we vote, can you read Mr. what you Ch got back Ch to Chairman. me, Ashley? Yes, sir. We also suggested weekly trash policing when the ice cream shops open. Okay. Yeah. Weekly. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but that would be. I think that'd be the planning board of the um, building department would require that. We can do it too. We, we can, can stick do it too because the yeah. fence is in the in yeah. Our it's on the hundred So yeah. The fence is in our jurisdiction. Yeah. So. It's a weekly trash pickup. Weekly trash. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I need a As, second. I did. Second. Okay. I just want to know what we got lit because I want to okay. make sure that it was a long motion. I don't have a lot of the details because they're in the sent, but I said the following conditions the three tracement bays follow the regulations to be sent from Tom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then allow one foot quarter access and the trash would become an issue. Privacy, privacy slots should be added to control the issue. Okay, and then we're talking about weekly trash. Weekly trash, weekly trash policing. Yep. Policing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Would, would the gentleman just uh, remind us the two main email uh, documents that he'll be forwarding? One was regarding drinking down. water. One was regarding hazardous materials. Yeah, um, they're actually cross-regulated. Um, in the DEP stormwater regulations, when you look at the stormwater stand handbook and the standards which are regulations, you can't have under condition five, any land use was potentially higher pollutant loads. Um, and then the next one is standard number six, critical areas. And this place has a critical area as defined under the stormwater regulations. It's a interim wellhead protection area, which then the second part of that regulation that protects um, this area is the drinking water regulations, which are 322 CMI 22.00. If you read inside the stormwater regulations embedded in there is a reference to the drinking water regulations to tie it together at the state level. Yeah. So you guys have jurisdiction because of that under both yeah. of those. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded to uh, grant the variance uh, with the order of conditions as stated. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Okay, thank We're you, good. gentlemen, ladies. Thank you. thank you. Don't go away. Before you leave, I'd like to have you sign this copy. Absolutely. And also for your um, the check to the registry of deeds. You want to get me a new one? Because I think they want it. Uh, 107? Yeah, well, let me give you this one. Okay. Okay. They want it. Are we signing our fancy sticker now? We are. We're signing the sticker. All right. So give me that back. All right. Same thing, but then you put it for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Getting fancy. Now. Oh, is that because it's just too old, you think? I think it is, yeah. I think, I think it's like six months. Define it anyhow, anyway. Okay. We're signing off on the sticker. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's too old. So, Brooke, when you get that email to you, will you send it to me so I can insert it into the regular 
the regulations that lasted long enough to get you know, the fancy stereos. Mm. I give it a thumb. Is that shame when you get the top one? Do I have to print my name too? No. <laughs> This copy with the um, signed plan also, please. The, that letter? Yep. Yeah. All right, we're all set? I think, I think, think so. we're good. I think Thanks, we are. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Tom. Good, good luck. I think Dan may get the booboo outfit. We're not sure yet. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be a day guest, so I'll be huckleberry. Alan, Alan uh, Savior will have his bathing suit on and be in the water park. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get video of Savory coming down the slide. <laughs> I like right. these. These are great. Yeah. All right. Going back to our we um, need the Dan sign. agenda. Yeah, Here's this. Sign sign. Way back. I have an extra one. Want an extra one? Hello. Oh, that's the signed one. It's that. All right. That goes with it. Here's this. Thank you, media. Right. And this goes with it. Okay. So organized. She's. And these go to you. I'm going to keep yeah. one. Okay. All right. All um, right. So this is good. All right. So all this, this is the signed one. So that's all done. John's Pond is on for January 19th. Yep. Yeah. So now we're going to back up and you want to do minutes or you want to do the discussion on there? I want to just do the discussion, the variance uh, okay. under the bylaws. Um, as you know, we had um, a little confusion at one of our meetings about uh, uh, a variance and a bylaw. I mean, in a, um, in a um, NOI. Um, it was a unique circumstance that the, that the NOI was entirely a variance. Huh? That there was no, there were no parts to the NOI where you wanted to do something and part of that was a variance. In the particular case of John's Pond, the entire NOI itself was a variance. Right. So we need to make sure that we read what the NOI states and what the variance states. Um, if the variance, if the NOI in its entirety requires a variance, then it is the same vote for both both items because the notice of intent if to grant a notice of intent for the variance something is part of the or, the order of condition it, it's the entire notice right. of intent right because not not make not voting for the variance right and you're not voting for the project deleted the right right yeah deleted right. the notice of intent because but it was not it was already built right i think is what we're going and the whole thing is in the 65. we will have a notice of intent that includes seven or eight different things they want to do and only one of them will include a variance right only certain part of it's in the right. 65. and that's when we can say yes to a notice of okay. intent and no to the variance and that eliminates that one portion right of the, of the but in the john's pond case the whole thing's right the, within yes, the, 65. the noi and the variance were identical right the, the only part that's unclear about that to me still I hear you is that the variance can be um, whatever whatever is at issue depending on how it's executed may not end up needing a variance if it, it, if the activity uh, or the approach to the activity is altered to uh, another method then in a case like that I would think that that any one of us would would request either a continuation yep so that that can be discussed yep. and then and re resubmitted, or mm -hmm. that we discuss it at, before we take a vote. Okay. You, yeah, you get I mean, this? Who gave you this? But the way the no, this is this is, goes back to the John's Pond. Where where? Yeah, but where did this opinion come from? But it, but I think the reading what, for me. Oh, okay. I mean, the way I read a variance is anything within the sixty-five requires a variance. Period. Right. Right. But but if the notice of intent is all. With everything on a notice of intent is within the 65. Okay, right. And then the, 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 the NOI the becomes thing. the variance. Right. Not really. Well. See, I don't. I, I. I. I don't agree. I think that the NOI is a standalone item. We did it with with Pine Street. We approved the NOI. We denied the variance. That gave them the opportunity to come back with a Plan B. 
Right. Um, John's Pond would be the same thing. Let's suppose for just a moment that we approved the NOI, which this board did, and then the variance was a tie vote, meaning the variance failed. Right. As of this moment in time, right now, he holds an approved NOI. He can come back to this board on the 29th and say, okay, I've decided to take out and make this modification. I'm still looking for a variance, but here's my plan B. His, while in fact his entire NOI was required of the variance, if we had turned down the NOI, now his hands are tied behind his back. He, he's got to refile. He's got to come back with an but, amendment. But it, the only way he could get out of the variance, and would he'd, he'd have to pull the entire thing out of the sixty-five. No, not necessarily. No. Because because what was it? What was we approved it, the part, NOI and denied the variance. Right. He could modify the plan and try to get that to fly like they did on Pine Street. Because it's not it's not just the distance of but the materials used in that window. That was where I was in my decision making. So. The NOI gives them an opportunity to say, okay, the project that you're trying to do, this is my only my view, don't, please don't misunderstand. Um, it, the project you're trying to do, this board approves. The variance is the particulars associated with the NOI, not necessarily the entire NOI, because you could order a change. You could say the variance, we did it tonight with the, um, with the water park, proposed water park. They're willing to pull that little corner out of the 65. So if that were the only thing on the NOI sheet, if that were the only thing at issue, and that variance was in place, and we approved the NOI, but denied the variance, that would give them the opportunity to come back and say, okay, we moved it out of the 65, now it just needs your approval. So technically, the NOI doesn't need a variance anymore. And there, there are oh, two, there are two right other up. variables to this as well. One is that this was an after-the-fact NOI. Right, which made and, it difficult. And the reason why I could not not vote, <laughs> I, I felt I couldn't vote against the NOI is because I did not see enough evidence pre- and post-activity to, sh to show what was already there versus what they had done. So I didn't feel like I had enough evidence to vote against it. If I saw the before and after, and it was clear, and it was inside the 65, which, which it is, I would have never voted for the NOI. All right, I think- It's a I'm lack of evidence that, made my, that was part of my decision tree. Okay. Yeah. And I understand that. And, I, and you know, we talked about that. I do, yep. I do understand that. I think what I'm trying to avoid is a situation where there are two identical requests that the NOI and the variance are identical and we say yes to one and no to the other. If, if we know that there's going to be an issue, then we need to discuss that before we take a vote. Okay. Is what I'm really saying. Right. Fine. That, that um, you know, if, if we oh, feel that that's that, going to be a, a, an yeah. issue because, yeah, you know, we, we gave the guy a, you know, he hit with high five and then all of a sudden he wasn't. <laughs> and, and that's really what I'm trying to avoid. So we have to make sure we're cognizant about what we're voting on before we vote. Does that make sense, Mr. Germain? I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just, it, it's, not, it's not our place to say how to, how to make some of those changes, so right. I couldn't make those suggestions, but my, my hope to, and, and even though it came across as my being difficult, but my hope was voting for the NOI gave him a chance to go back to the drawing board with right. making right. changes. Well, that was the reason we did it before with Pine Street. Right. In hindsight, you probably should have said, I'm, a, I'm oh. going to vote in favor of the NOI, but I'm going to deny right. the variance. Okay, so oh, let me okay. put a note then. You know, just so that we can talk so about it more. You. Sure. And maybe continue it if that's the right thing to do. Yes. That's all, all I'm trying they to do. They have a copy yeah. of it. Um, okay. And, and, and since we're talking they about this in the it. last meeting, I want to apologize to yeah. this board um, for walking out. Um, it was. It really wasn't you. In fact, you called me that night and you said, "I know this wasn't Dan, right?" And no, it just happened to be that Dan was the straw, and you didn't do anything bad. It just was. There was days before of uh, just stuff, and I probably should have just not even showed up that night because I was loaded for bail when I walked in the door. Um, 
So I apologize. Well, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, I... You know, I, I think everyone knows that Alan and I actually enjoy debating because I think what it does is it actually whittles down issues to their elemental points so that we get to, I think, where we are right now. Yeah, I, um, I, I agree. It's all, I think it's for the, always for the greater good. I, I've never... I don't, I don't have any Alan problem with that. spirited debate. I don't, yeah. I don't either. I don't. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, the next thing that we have to do is vote on the minutes. From motion, did we, I'm assuming that everybody read these by now, so I'll just make a motion to approve the minutes for December 1st, 2021 as written. Do we have a second? second. Whenever anyone gets ready to do All that. All right, um, it's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes Jimmy, of December 1st. Jimmy, do you see them? I didn't, but I'm taking a quick look here. All right, take a peek. Yeah. Give him a second. You see the enforcement orders attached? Yeah. Yeah. I have to email that to Ashley. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. You know the one the one thing oh, regarding I, I this have, enforcement I order. Where it is. That's what, I don't um, know where it is. I have it in a separate little thing. So just... And I know I know it was you know because it's in it. We had decided that it was in the minutes and so therefore being ratified. But um, the aggregate used in the concrete um, was was going to be one that was for the use of. Uh, being in contact with potable water, not not necessarily just concrete that's used for, um, you know, um, a sewer system or any. No, but I will tell you. And but I, I think I, that was on their detail. Yeah, but plan. and I'm glad you're bringing that up because um, that was also brought up at the planning board. They're going to be using non-potable water, uh, which is what you would use in a concrete plant. Um, but they are using it's all local source materials. They're going to be building these things are going to be local because they're too heavy to truck. So they're gonna be made locally. Now exactly where, I don't know, but I'm willing to bet locally. And it's gonna be local aggregate. Yep. And then it's gonna be standard Portland cement, the same stuff that's in every Adams, J.P. Noonan. Um, um, Sidewalks and everything, right? Yeah, yeah well, it's gonna be, same. you know, it, they only make one kind of Portland cement. It's, it's bulk cement. Right. And then the, 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 test is, is, the test strength is based on the water and the aggregate used. So, um, I don't. I don't think. I, I think there was some distinction between potable and non-potable water, and 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 I, I think that the statement was made. It was going to be non-potable water used to make the cement, and it was like, why are you even asking this? No, so, not 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 to make the cement, but um, in terms of aggregate um, that is used to make forms that are going to be in contact with water. With water. Yeah. So, so nothing would leach out of the correct. Of the concrete. Right. Well, so, I, yeah. but you just answered partly answered that question, and that it's going to be a locally sourced aggregate. Yeah, it's all, it, it, that's right. It's, yeah, it's okay. in other words, they're not shipping these in from upstate New York, right? Because they just they're, they're sixty foot long and they're concrete, ten inch rounds. They're good, too heavy. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to try to truck everything as locally as possible. I don't know exactly who around here is going to make them. It'd be um, good. Give but, us some business. Well, it would be any business. cement plant. I mean, they just need to make the forms. Yep. Right. You know, yep. for those that, that and, and who knows how many cement plants that already have those forms. For all we know, MB's got the forms. We'll I don't know. the local businesses. Yeah. Could be the cement plant down the street may have the forms. Yeah, the ready mix, yeah. Ready mix. So. Um, okay, before I ask for a motion to adjourn, I just want to mention. For we didn't vote on the minutes. Oh. Um, because he had it's a question. Been, oh, yeah. That. It's been moved and seconded to uh, approve the minutes. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, approve unanimously. Um, Motion to adjourn. No, hold on. You know, um, I just want to say that uh, if anyone's any watching that uh, there are, we are a group of four people. We have an empty seat. If anyone's interested in joining the Conservation Commission, please reach out to oh. Brooke Monroe uh, at Carver Town Hall. Um, and uh, we could. We so could it's actually a select board appointment. It's a select. It's a select it's a board appointment. Point? Yeah, you have to go. It's a select board appointment. There's an application on the website. Yeah. You got to fill out. I think I thought it was town administrator. Appointment. No, it, oh, somehow it, it got. It used to be. I'm trying to think because yeah, you're it's right. A, One the, time it was now selectman, it's a select yeah. board appointment according to what they're posting it yeah, as. Yeah, it was selectman select first, and then it went to just town administrator, and then mm, now it's back Michael to select. Here and then now it's back to select. I saw it posted today. And I thought it said select so they board. have to go before the select board to like apply. Okay. Yep. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
Well, we, it's it's not important anyway. Um, and can you just put that on? I, I wish I'd remembered earlier in the meeting. Oh, put it on for, the for the agenda for the next time, just to say we're looking for somebody. Oh, okay. So I'll just say open. Yeah, just open. add a yeah. add a line. Yeah. There's an opening on the board. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now motion to adjourn. Second. Someone. Second. All right. Moved and second to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 And we're out. Thank you very much, Area 58.